Let's read this problem. It says to simplify the expression, and here's the expression, it has 7.2 times 10 to the negative 4 times 600 in the uh, numerator, and in the denominator, denominator it has 12 thousandths times 1.2 times 10 to the fifth. And it wants us to express our answer in both scientific and decimal notation. You may have an inkling of how to do this problem already. Uh, let's break it up into two parts. See what you get for the numerator part, writing it in scientific notation. Go ahead and do that multiplication and write your answer in scientific notation. Okay, welcome back. Let's see if you got this answer. Four. 0.32 times 10 to the negative 1. If you got that answer, very good. Move on to the next part of the problem. If not, let's see if we can get that answer for the numerator. So the, we want to multiply those two numbers together. The first one is in scientific notation already, so let's just write it down. The second number is not written in scientific notation, so let's put it in scientific notation. The decimal point needs to be to the right of the first non-zero digit. In other words, it needs to be right there. And right now the decimal point is at the end of this number, it's out here. So the decimal point needs to move two places. It will then be 6.2 zero and we don't need to write the trailing zero there one zero is sufficient six point zero times ten and we move the decimal point two places so I'll put a two here but is it a positive two or a negative two and the way I used to remember this is that if this number that we have here is less than one then it's a negative well, 600 is obviously not less than 1, so it's positive. And that's the absolute value, if the absolute value is less than 1. Okay, so we're going, going to multiply these two numbers together. And let's see, the 6 times the 7.2, I believe I get 43.2 for that. And then when we multiply our decimals, our two uh, decimal numbers, or not decimals, our two uh, exponent numbers, 10 to the negative 4 times 10 to the second, we need to uh, just add the exponents together. So what's negative 4 plus 2? That's negative 2. So we get 43.2 times 10 to the negative 2. Well, that's not in scientific notation quite yet. The decimal point needs to be in such a place that there's only one non-zero digit to its left, and so it needs to move from right there to right out there. It needs to move over one place. So that's going to be 4.32 times 10, and we move the decimal point one place. That number is not less than 1, so it's a positive 1 times 10 to the negative 2, which we just had here, to multiply our two uh, exponent numbers, the numbers that have exponents, we just add the exponents together. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1, and we end up with 4.32 times 10 to the negative 1. Okay, let's see what you get when you multiply this 12 thousandths times 1.2 times 10 to the fifth. Write your answer for the denominator down here in decimal, rather in scientific notation. Go ahead and hit pause and do that now. Welcome back. Let's see if we get the same answer for that. I got 1.4 4 times 10 to the positive 3 power when I multiplied that. 
If you got the same answer that I did, go ahead and move to the third and final part of this problem. Otherwise, let's take a look at this and see if we can get this answer. Uh, this first number up here, this 12 thousandths, is not in scientific notation. Let's put it in scientific notation. The decimal point needs to move over two places so that there will just be a single uh, digit, non-zero digit, in, to the left of it. So it'll be 1.2 times 10 to the, and we move the decimal point two places, so it's two, but this number is smaller than one, so that will make it a negative. So it's 1.2 times 10 to the negative two. Some people think, well, if you move it to the right, it's negative, and to the left, it's positive, but I can't keep those straight. So I just think of them as kind of small numbers and large numbers. So I've rewritten the first number. The second number is already in scientific notation. It was 1.2 times 10 to the fifth. When we multiply those two together, I believe we get 1.44 times 10. And we'll just add our exponents, negative 2 plus 5. Since we're multiplying, we add our exponents. That would be a positive 3. So 1.44 times 10 to the third for our denominator. The final step is to do the division. I'm going to divide this part and then this part separately. So 4 and 32 hundredths divided by 1 and 44 hundredths, I believe it goes in there a nice round three times. And then what do we do when we're uh, dividing with uh, exponents? We just subtract the exponents. So we're going to have 10 to the negative 1 subtract the 3 and we get times 10 to the negative 4. 3 times 10 to the negative 4. It's nice to put a decimal point and a 0 in here to make it really look like it's scientific notation. I think that's the proper way to write it. 3.0 times 10 to the negative 4. They also want the answer written in decimal notation. The negative 4 indicates that in my mind it's a small number. It's going to be a number less than 1. So that means in order to put it in decimal notation. I'm going to move it four places. I know that. To make it what I would consider a small number, I have to move this decimal point over four places to the left. One, two, three, four, and I need to fill in zeros here. Two, three, and there's the new where the decimal point is, and it's nice to have another zero out to the left of that. And so our answer then in uh, decimal notation form would be written as 0 0.0003. And let me write it again in scientific notation. I've kind of taken that away. Let's put it back in. There it is again in scientific notation. To recap what we did, we put the numbers that were not in scientific notation into scientific notation. We multiplied the product that was in the numerator together and we did the same thing. We multiplied the product and the denominator together and then we divided. See ya.